Tuesday is primary election day when Republicans and Democrats will pick their nominees for the November general election. As political editor John Delano reports, this has been a contentious and expensive primary campaign. It's been a topsy-turvy political season with negative attacks, endorsements from a former president, and millions of dollars spent by super PACs trash-talking each other. The most vicious, you know, the big, biggest battle we've seen in years. On Tuesday, Republican voters will pick from seven U.S. Senate candidates, three in a statistical tie and four others in the race, and then choose one Republican for governor from four among the leaders and five others on the ballot. Democrats have four candidates vying to become their Senate nominee, while Attorney General Josh Shapiro is unopposed for governor. Many political insiders think voter turnout will be low. I think people to a certain degree are turned off. So, you know, I see the voter turnout being lower than usual. Maybe just 30%. So when turnout is low, who votes? On the Democratic side, it's gonna be the folks further to the left. And, and on the Republican side, it's gonna be the, the folks further to the right. So the folks that are gonna get left out are the moderates and the centrists. But one Republican strategist thinks turnout will be higher among Republicans, citing primaries in nearby states. If you look at uh, West Virginia and Ohio, you saw very large turnout. You saw, I think, 20% higher uh, turnout in both of those states uh, since their past congressional elections. So to me, all of this says that there's real energy on the Republican side. In the first place, the voice that's going to be at the ballot box on Tuesday. Another unknown, the impact of former President Trump's endorsement, especially his support for Mehmet Oz. If this Dr. Oz loses, that may show that Donald Trump doesn't have a grip on the Republican Party like he once did. None of the candidates is expected to get a majority of the vote. But there are no runoffs in a multi-candidate race. So you can win with just 25% of the vote if you're the top vote getter. That, say analysts, can lead to the nomination of candidates who cannot win in November. And this is what happens um, when you do not have party leadership to coalesce behind one, you know, one, one candidate. In addition to the statewide races, voters in both parties will be choosing nominees for the U.S. House, the State Senate, and the State House. John Delano, KDKA News.